So here we have uh, PTZ cameras that are connected to the back of the NVR into the PoE ports. These are the grouped ports in the back of the NVR. So they're basically getting PoE power uh, from the NVR. And then here we have a network port on the back. This is gonna be the one that's standalone by itself. It's just a network port and it has a figure of three computers on the back. I'll show it to you by lifting it up so you can see. All right, so the one here is basically where the joystick controller is connecting. So what I've formed here is a standalone system where I've got three PDZ cameras connected to the NVR and then a joystick controller connected to the NVR. And a joystick controller is powered with its own 12 volt power supply that's going to an outlet. I'm not gonna show that here. And I've got the joystick controller already configured. So when you wanna enter into it, you hit enter and it's gonna ask you for the password. The default password is eights, six eights. And then hit enter and it lets you come in. Once you're in here, if your control is already pre-configured, you hit enter into zone control. And if we've set your NVR to ID zero, all you do is press enter. And then it says connect into NVR and you get this screen. Once you're here, that means you can actually start controlling your PTZs. To control the PTZs, you have obviously in this case, let me show you, I've got three cameras. three cameras here in my view. And if I want to change the views, I can actually use the joystick control itself by pressing down, it changes the views. So here, all I'm doing is clicking the joystick controller down and it changes through the views. Now, when I'm in full screen view, if I click left and right, it lets me go from channel one, two, three, and then you can keep on going through all the channels. And you see here on the bottom right, they keep changing numbers. So all I'm doing is flicking left and right. So again, take a look at my controller. How did I access that? Look at the joystick. And I flick downwards. It lets me change how many cameras are in a grid. And then once I'm in a desired grid, I can click left and right to change uh, which cameras I'm on. Now, with that done, let's talk about how to actually control the PTZ. So I actually went back to PTZ1. Let's look at it here. I know this is PTZ1 because it says D1 on the bottom right. Now let's control it by going on the joystick and typing in one. So it says use one and then, oh, sorry. So do it, let's do that again. So type one and it says use one and then hit the PTZ button. Now it actually gave me this cursor. It's actually using the PTZ. If I use my joystick, I can go left and right. I can go up and down and I can zoom in and out. The way to zoom in and out is you, this, this joystick is a 3D controller. By turning the knob, you can zoom in and zoom out. Counterclockwise is zoom out, clockwise is zoom in, just like I'm doing it here. So this gives you quick and easy control of your PTZ cameras using the joystick while connected to an NPR. Thanks for watching.